A ira noche tomó lugar de despedida de ciclista con apoyo de vida trágicamente de la calle Corona. Es aquí que va a acompañar con ciclista en la demostrar la preocupación para la inseguridad en tráfico. Noticia no se ve a conversar con el ciudadano Adnan Hassan, quien dice que quiere comenzar a atender con seguridad en tráfico de su totalidad de una forma más responsable. Ten días, dos personas perdieron sus vidas en bicicletas. But that wasn't the only incident. We've had regularly people getting injured, cars getting in accidents, and this is something that has been happening. We've had friends and other associates getting hurt and also dying. This is a symbol of, unfortunately, a failure in our community and by our officials on overall safety on the island. That's the heart of it. We have not been able to address safety issues and most of those issues are to do with what's happening on our roads. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not only, only the, the, the people on bikes, it's the people on scooters, it's, it's, it's the people walking on, on the sidewalks. Giovanni make an excellent point. This is not just about bicycles. Uh, people on wheelchairs don't have the ability to go on the sidewalk because the sidewalks are not there or they're not accessible for wheelchairs. So what do they do? Painfully, they have no choice. Either they stay at home or they go on their wheelchair on the road. And then that becomes a dangerous thing for them and for the drivers. Old people, young people, they can't walk on the sidewalks and that's dangerous. Uh, young children can't go out on bicycles. They can't go to school, they can't go to playgrounds. This is uh, the, uh, it's a comprehensive failure in our transport system. We, and the tragedy is that we are part, the, we are uh, open by Lichem of a country that says that it has one of the best logistics and transport systems in the world. And if we are talking about that around the world and on a small open by Lichem, of 24,000 people on the on Bonaire, we can't fix that. Right now, our statistics by number of accidents for the size of the population is the highest in the Dutch Caribbean. That's a tragedy. Yeah. Um, you you told me about uh, the Netherlands. Of course, they have a very good uh, safety and traffic, all, all those things. Um, uh, what must they do? Uh, is this uh, something from the Holland of we have to take care of this? It's another very good point. First of all, our politicians there and, and any government, its first job is to provide safety. Before growth, before anything else, is safety. If you can't make your people safe, then you are failing at your basic job. Holanda is one of the countries that has a safety in the traffic in the world, but the comportment here in Bonaire is tolerated two fatal accidents with bicycles for less than 10 days. According to Mr. Adnan Hassan, this is not acceptable. Safety comes fundamentally, ultimately, in the hands of our Ghazakheber. And so between our politicians and Ghazakheber, they are the ones who actually have to be outraged. Outraged, not just casually say, you know, I'm so sorry this happened, so sorry that happened, and, and hide in some ways from these incidences. They should be at the front and express the pain and frustration of the community and say this is not acceptable. Safety has to be number one. So we have to take the leadership. but. Your point about the Netherlands, look, the Netherlands has the resources and the capacity. The least we should do is partner with the Netherlands to make improvements on Bonaire. How can we be uh, open by Lechem of uh, one of the world's leading economies, one of the world's leading transport and logistics places where children can go to ballet and hockey and, and go off with their parents? saying that they're not worried about when they come home. Once I was there and I actually, a kid, child came to visit my child on his bicycle in the evening and I said, let me bike back with you for safety. And his mother said to me, oh, you don't have to worry about it. He'll be fine. And he was maybe eight years old. This is what's happening in our kingdom of the Netherlands. Why not on Bonaire? Are we not equal? Um, did you feel that our government did, uh, took this seriously enough? I know that our community took it seriously enough. There were people yesterday when we said farewell to Paul, they were laughing, crying, and all out on the streets and celebrating the life of this amazing human being. I did not see our officials there. And certainly, I did not see the Khazaf Heber there, who could have used this opportunity to come over and basically convey the pain that the community feels at the loss of such a great person. It would have brought great comfort 
to his family in the Netherlands to know that not only our people but our leadership also feels the pain. So no, I think that this has not been taken as seriously as unfortunately the other deaths have not been taken as seriously. They, we have basically turned this into something that, oh, you know what, these things happen. No, they don't happen. They happen because we fail. That's why they happen. And that failure should not be acceptable anymore. Enough is enough. Um, you have a message for the people who are looking at you right now? Don't accept this as a given. This is not uh, something we cannot fix. Our leadership should be able to fix it. Think about that. It's our leaders here in Kralandijk and in The Hague. They should fix this. Don't let them get away with it. Hold them accountable.